Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Brie, and fun fact about me is that I am obsessed with Galavant. They have it on Netflix, and my fiance and I were watching Galavant the past two or three days. We finished both seasons. It's so heartbreaking that they didn't continue on to a third season, but I am obsessed with that show. I wanna go ahead and rewatch it because it was just so, Good. But today's video is going to be a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. I had promised you guys that I would use the products from my Stash or Trash series on Monday, and this Valentine's Day look will be drugstore. Now, I will not be showing you with the items that are not drugstore. For example, all of my face products, except for the blush and the highlight, are high-end. I will leave all makeup items that I do use in the description box, so you can check it out just in case you're curious as to what foundation I'm using, and so on and so forth. But I think this is a really beautiful look, it has a nice pop of like a light blue just to really balance out and brighten up your eyes. And I believe this is a very realistic makeup look. I didn't want to do false lashes. I didn't want to do a bold red lip. To be honest, my man is not the biggest fan of false lashes, nor is he the biggest fan of me wearing red lipstick or dark lipstick because then he can't kiss me. And Valentine's Day for me, I love to share the love. I think this is a great look that you can take from day to night and it'll be the perfect realistic drugstore makeup tutorial for you guys. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this look, then keep watching. To start things off, I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Maybelline Master Prime. Some of you guys asked if I can zoom in a little closer, so hopefully you guys like this setup. And I'm just gonna use my finger to to gently pat this into the lid. The palette that I'm gonna be using this time around is the e.l.f. Matte for Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is the original one, it's not the newer one even though I do want the newer one, but it is absolutely beautiful. Now, I will say the colors are similar to the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette, but that palette is better. The longevity is incredible compared to this one, and I will say that the pigmentation is better in that palette. So if you're debating between the two, go ahead and get the Urban Decay palette, but if you're on a budget, this one would work fine. I'm gonna go in with a crease color. Now I will say my brushes are dirty, but this is my second time filming this video. The lighting just wasn't great the other time around and I didn't wanna post it because it was bad. I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's the third one down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to blend this into my crease. Now this is the It Cosmetics Fluffy Crease Brush. It's my favorite brush. It's so soft and it really does blend everything out. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that shade and I'm going to apply that under my lower lash line. I like to smoke this out just a little bit. You you can obviously take a pencil brush to get a more precise look, but I kind of like it to be a little blown out. This particular look is going to be very simple, very easy. At least I feel it's very simple and easy uh, just because I want to be realistic with Valentine's Day. And if you don't have that much time to get ready, I feel like this will be a great way to still be glamorous, but still be time efficient. Now to build up the crease a little bit more and to add in a little bit of that pink, you know, that typical Valentine's Day pink, I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's the fourth one down. One, two, three, four. I'll take a little bit of this, and I'm just using a flat shader brush, but you can use anything you want. It just goes to show that brushes can be versatile, and I'm just placing this into the crease. As you can see, it adds a little bit more warmth and adds a little bit of a pink tone to your look. For me, it just really brings out my hazel eyes, and I love it so much. Just take a little bit of that, and I'm gonna go underneath my lower lash line too. Now I'm going to be moving on to the lid, and for the lid, I'm gonna be using this beautiful light blue shade. This is by NYX, and it is in the shade Frostbite. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm gonna use my finger for this. I did use a brush yesterday, but it became so chunky that I feel like the best way to apply it is with the warmth of your finger. So I'm just going to press this on the lid. I feel like this is a great alternative to any twerp, any type, any type of pink or red or cream shadow. I just think it adds something different and unique and it really just brightens up that inner corner. So to blend everything out, I'm gonna go back in with these two shades, but I'm actually going to mix in a little bit of this kind of reddish brown shade. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and gently apply that to my outer corner. I'm barely even touching my brush to my lid, but it's gonna help blend everything in. You can even take a little bit and apply it to the bottom lash line too. I just really want to blend everything out. And that's that's a great tip too. If you don't want to apply, let's say I've got a dark color on the actual tip of the brush. If you don't want to get that dark color in the middle of your eye, just go ahead and flip your brush to the side 
and blend it out with the side of your brush. Now for the inner corner, I want a little bit of a brighter effect. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Girl Talk. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. I'm gonna take my little pinky finger and I'm just going to pop that right in that inner corner. So now I'm going to curl my lashes. Now you don't have to curl your lashes. I just like the effect of curled lashes. And I like to do this before liner because I've noticed that when I apply liner first and then go in and curl my lashes, the eyelash curler tends to take off some of the eyeliner. And if we're taking all of that time to work hard and make sure that our eyeliner is perfect, I feel like it's best to use a tool beforehand. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to tight line and I'm going to be using this NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Eyeliner in Jet Black. And so I'm just going to tight line my top lash line and only my top lash line. What it basically does is it makes the appearance of fuller, voluminous lashes. Then for liquid liner, I'm gonna be using my Jessie's Girl Waterproof Liquid Liner. I love this liner, however, I cannot talk while doing this liner because I fully have to concentrate. So hopefully I'll be in frame when I do this because I'm looking down at my mirror. Basically, I'm just going to make a winged line. Now you don't have to, you can keep the look like this and keep it very soft, but I really like a winged liner. Now this one was a little thicker than I would like it to be, but that's okay. That's typically where I would put in false lashes. I'm trying not to do false lashes, but we'll see. So liner is done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my mascara. I do not have a drugstore mascara, but you can go ahead and use whichever mascara you are using. By the way, any of the products that I do use that are not drugstore, I will put them in the description box just in case you're curious. So I'm gonna put on mascara and we will be right back. I did not put on false lashes as I don't think like I really need it. So I'm gonna actually move on to the brows. And the products that I'm using for my brows are drugstore items. So the first one I'm gonna use is this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, and I'm in the shade Brunette. So what I like to do is I like to brush my brows up and then comb them out. I'll take the actual product and I will gently start to outline my brows first, kind of get the shape that I want. I need to work on my brows again because they are losing the shape. And then once I have the shape that I want, then I, will slow, then I will slowly start to fill them in. And what I've been really liking lately just to create fuller brows is brushing upward and then brushing downward so that it actually gets on my skin. And then I'll take the spoolie and just brush out the product and really blend it in. Now to fill out the brows a little bit more, I'm gonna be taking this Pixie by Petra Brow Palette. This is the Shades of Brow Palette. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take a mixture of these two dark brown shades. So this chocolatey brown and then this dark brown. And I'm gonna focus this on the outer portion of my brow. And then what I like to do, just to create a more of an ombre effect, I'm gonna take the third one right here and then this medium brown or chocolate brown and I'm going to apply that to the inner portion of my brow. Now I'm gonna take something that's not drugstore, but the drugstore alternative to this, and it's great, is the Essence Make Me Brow. I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow, but if you use the Essence Make Me Brow, it's an exact dupe. I just don't have it in my collection at the moment. So this is just gonna help me set in my hairs because my hairs are pretty long right now. Now that our eyes are done, I'm gonna move on to the face. So what I'm gonna start off with is blush. And I'm gonna use a mixture of these two blushes as I really like the combination of these two. What these are, these are the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. This one is in Rose Champagne, which is my ultimate favorite. And this one is Apricot in the middle. I'm gonna take a little bit of both and I'm just going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks and work my way back. I feel like the combination of both of these just really pair well with the eye look that we have today. For my highlight, I'm gonna be using a ColourPop highlight in the shade Spoon. I love this highlight and I just use my finger. So I just take a little bit of this and then I press it on the high points of my face. Now I'm trying not to highlight this massive pimple that I have right here, so I'm just not going to place it where I normally place the product. But I will just use my finger, place the product, and then use a different finger to blend it in. Or you can use your beauty blender, whichever you prefer. Apply a little bit to my cupid's bow on my nose. Now for the final part, the lips. I'm gonna be using two drugstore items. The first one is the Essence Lip Liner in In The Nude. So I'm going to outline my lips and fill them in. This color is a beautiful neutral shade and it glides on beautifully and effortlessly. So if you're looking for a great, cheap, really cheap lip liner, definitely go get the Essence one. And then to fill that in, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Lumiere. Love this shade. I feel it's very versatile for any skin tone. And there you go. This is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I feel like it's very fresh 
and very whimsical and romantic and with a fraction of the cost. I feel like there are obviously higher end products that might do a better job as far as longevity is concerned, but if you were looking for a budget friendly makeup item, for example, the e.l.f. matte makeup eyeshadow palette, I would definitely go ahead and get some of these items as they are beautiful. They look beautiful on the skin. You look very radiant and glowy and I love the effect that the blue has in the inner corner. I just feel like it really wakens up your face and I think it's just going to be perfect for Valentine's Day. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every single weekday. We're testing things out right now and seeing how I like posting five times a week, but definitely go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, go ahead and click that notification button. I know everyone has been saying this, but I guess YouTube has been having some changes in their system and if you want to guarantee seeing every single one of my videos, then definitely hit that notification button. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing week. Happy Valentine's Day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.